Well, oh, folks, here we are. Here we are. Did a video of a while back on a song that got stopped playing the, the radio, mind you. Uh, shoot, I forget what song it was, but I did. And I did uh, do a video on it, and I did mention... And I did mention in that video ACDC, mind you. <laughs> and right now I am very pissed off. I am so pissed off behind the frickin' core of disbelief. I've done and spoke of this song many, many times. Hell, I've even done a, a video of it like last year, I believe, or 2017 in my old apartment about night prowler and the meaning of the song from what I quote unquote heard from the band themselves when they did an interview like back in 1989 or 1990 on VH1 behind the music and uh, I mean I don't have to get much into details but the song you can frankly see in the lyrics you can frankly hear do and tend to sound very creepy very distinct disturbing or whatnot but if you don't even, you don't know the song like the band wrote it and you're gonna just assume that this song is pure evil and uh and that ACDC is the band bringing across the devil's word well then you don't belong listening to this music you don't have no rights as if ands or buts to push or any type of word out of your mouth for any type of heavy metal band these bands sing of music due to the hard times that they had due to the hard times that they had of breaking through the music industry <clears throat> and uh you know, when they sing Highway to Hell in songs like Sin City, if you don't know the meaning of them, like I said, you don't belong having your input knowledge or any type of word to come out of your goddamn mouth to even acclaim this any type of band like Say So Slayer. And if anybody knows... Tommy Araya of Slayer. Oh, did I get his name wrong? <laughs> Lead singer of Slayer. I think it's Tommy. No, I don't think it is. And I forget his goddamn name. Tom Araya. It is Tom. Call him Tommy. But, anyways, if you know the meaning of their music and that that man is a Christian man and goes to church every Sunday. Well, then you don't know music. All these bands of the past, a lot of them, the majority of them, 95%, were all singing about the hard times of life, the hard times of getting into the music industry, and the truth beyond what lives among us. And like I say, if you people don't understand this, keep your mouth shut. Keep your mind and your thoughts and theories to yourself. And stay out of the face of the people that know and do know this type of music. You know, I never went, I mean, you know, yeah, I like to use music sometime. God damn it. In a uh, form of getting me pumped up and sometimes yes I'll admit I used to use music in the time to pump myself up to go and get someone's ass kicked if they ever wanted to run their mouth to me think they're badass think they're whatever and people want to pick on me well hey I got myself some music here let me crank that up and show you what I got but anyways not to get off track I went on YouTube and I needed to listen to Night Prowler tonight due to the fact that I've been, like I said, going through some tough times. 
And when I get into that bad mode of thinking and my mind's going a mile a minute and I'm trying to race to, my mind's racing while I'm trying to go to bed at night. Well, God damn it, oh my God, I just can't. I can't stop and I can't stop and I just can't think, focus, whatever. I just, <laughs> mile a minute. And I, uh, until I drain myself is right. And it takes good to about midnight when I'm playing my game or listening to music to get myself worn down, to shut my mind off, to stop thinking about the BS in my life. And yeah, but I wanted to listen to this song so bad last night that, uh, oh, damn it, I couldn't listen to it. Now I threw up some songs that people made, uh, cover songs, tribute bands, all this kind of stuff. But you know what? Nothing can replace or nobody can tribute any better than the mighty Bond Scott. I mean, even Angus Young said it. Poor Brian Johnson had to ordeal with Axl Rose cutting in because there were songs that Axl Rose could make the song sound right that Brian couldn't. I mean, in one of the interviews a couple years ago, say so that Angus, why he was bringing in Axl Rose. But I did read an article that has confirmed that Brian Johnson might be doing some music on a new album. Oh, oh man. Touring maybe too. Like I say, Brian, if you catch this video, man, I would like to say just put some goddamn earplugs in your ear and sing off a damn friggin' teleprompt if you have to. Just, you know, so you can get into sync, know where you are with the song and the lyrics. And who cares what people say? You know what I'm saying? Cover them ears up so you don't go friggin', you know, fully deaf. That's all Brian Johnson's got to do. Wrap up them ears and friggin' just sing just like he normally would off the teleprompter or whatever. I mean, <clears throat> that's all he needs to do, man, to keep him from going completely deaf. But anyways, here's a little piece of it where uh, Ramirez terrorizing American people with a string of gruesome crimes. Of course, rape and murder was his choice. He was a sick, demented piece of shit. And I swear to God, if I'd known songs would get banned like off the radio and YouTube due to their content, I would like to go back in time and murder this man myself. And I would rip this person friggin' piece by piece for tarnishing in having a uh, part in ruining, ruining music today. Freedom of speech, freedom of lyrics, freedom of the usual words the way you're supposed to has been demolished by people like this. You sick piece of shit. I'll be rotten hell where you lay is right. And man, I would love to find this man's grave and take a big, nice number two on his grave. That's right. One and two. Doesn't matter. Oh. No, I just rounded up right here. Not yet, but I mean, I can keep my eyes open. Shop <laughs> ten. Shit. I guess someone's out here roaming. They're not supposed to be roaming. Police just stopped me and asked me if I saw somebody. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. Huh. Doing some bad things. Speak of the devil. But anyways, like I said, I'd like to go back in time and kill this bastard. I'd put my hands around him neck and choke him like he did at people, women, innocent people. Because they are at the bottom here, it says that he wore wearing an ACDC t-shirt and had a had left that ACDC hat at the crime scene. One of the many pictures in the Night Stalkers Californian rampage bullshit. That uh Jesus Christ, and I gotta keep my eyes open before someone jumps out and kills me. <laughs> I'm wandering around here. Hopefully he hears me talking. 
Six shit. Hey, Ted, what are you doing? Jesus crazy, even that dog's fucking goofing up. But anyways, I mean, yeah, this, like I said, this piece of shit, man, ruining a song like this, even a song like this recently, I did a video and I forget what the frig it was now. You know what I mean? That's how bad I'm mad I get when I get stuff like this that I can't even think straight to remember anything because of this kind of crap. So I mean, yeah, it's just sick. It's friggin' sick what's out there that ruins things. And uh, ruins it for everybody. And that song, man, I tell you. I mean, you, you, you'd be the day I want to go think about creeping in somebody's room. And, uh, yeah, sneaking up on you, chopping you up and killing you, and da-da-da. You know, when I listen to that song, I don't even think of that stuff. I love the beat. I love the melody of it. I love the simpleness of the song. The... And you know what? I put the lyrics, and everybody should do this. The lyrics to me in this song should be creeping up and used as creeping up on people that uh, that do wrong to others. Like the Night Stalker. How about that song be put to him? How about that song be mentioned to everybody that's ever thought of being a, a uh, whatever the hell his name is. I remember his name is Richard Ramirez. Sick piece of crap. How about everybody think of that song going towards him, sneaking into his room? I wish that guy was still alive. Because I tell you, I'd write right now a nasty letter to him. I would too. Nasty letter. Hey, Richard, you're a big ass pussy. Because that's all he was, was a woman stalker. Yeah, he did kill some men, but he mainly raped and killed women. And that, to me, you ain't jack shit, buddy. Now, I'd go tell that to the man's grave. And if his ghost comes and wants to haunt me, so be it. I'll be waiting for it. That's how bad I am and sick I am. I love to take and dig up his grave and rattle his bones. Sickness. Yeah, that's right. Sickness. Anybody ever want to know what sickness means? Bring me to Richard Ramirez's grave and I'll show you sickness. I'll show you evil beyond evil. And I'd I love to know where that guy was with the death penalty and sentence with his ghosts in that prison. Because, man, I would go in there and rattle his spirit. Sickness is right. But anyways, I'm just seeing, I'm just gonna show something right here. Get in there, check this out. Show you what I'm talking about here. You go straight on YouTube. It should be up. Oh, come on, you stupid piece of... What are you doing? Oh, I hate when his phone does this. I'm gonna go to history here. Show you what I mean. Show you about a song I've listened to probably uh, 50 times on YouTube in the past five years. Cause man, when I need to listen to this, I need to listen to it. I mean, here's a, this is a guy who puts on the album, sings with it. And, uh, oh wow, it ain't even coming up either. And this came up when I tried hitting it. This is the actual interview of on the news if anybody wants to check it out. But, damn it, let me go on this. Let's see if I can get that. Nope, it ain't gonna come up. Retro Master. Let's see. Uh, uh, hold on a sec. That ain't helping. Night Prowler. So you download Night Prowler. And this is back in track. These are all either karaoke, 
either, you know, people who sing it themselves in bands, whatever the case may be, this is a band song right here, it's not the original, I don't know why these ones ain't getting, you know, bumped off, I don't know if ACDC themselves did it, but there's a thrash version, you know, and you scroll on through this, you do not find no original Night Prowler. Right here is the original. Right here. Right here is the original. Oh, bang. And it goes straight into Let There Be Rock. Just like that, people. That's what happens when you try and play Night Prowler. Night Prowler contains content. Ba -da -da -da. I didn't try this thing on a second. It's Bill Baker, though. No. I want to see something. ACDC. Look this up. With the original ACDC music. Yeah. Official. Subscribe. All in all, this is what I mean. I don't know how true this is, because, you know, there's a lot of people that have, you know, oh, official. And I don't know if I can go in there and play with them now. See, I ain't going to be able to find this. Shut down five, touch the mess, high with the hell, let it be rock. High voltage. I'll tell you, you go through all this stuff, you're not gonna find the original Nightcrawler. And I mean, like I said, this makes me very sick. And like I said, the last song they said they were gonna take off air because everybody's offended to it. And I said in the video, what are they gonna do? Take this off, Night Prowler? Why don't they take this off? Why don't they take another song off? And sure and shit, they did. They did. They literally took it off. Night Prowler. So thank you, Mr. Richard Ramirez. You scumbag piece of shit. I so said I'm gonna go to California. I'm gonna find your grave and I'm gonna do something very bad. Very bad. I hope you haunt me. I hope you do. And I don't care if this man haunts me because... Oh my God, you want to tarnish a song like this? I mean, it's the point that yes, I can go on a cassette tape or I can go on a CD, I can hear it hundreds of times, but when you got this and you want people to get views on their videos and help them too, hopefully people help me, you know? That's what you do, you give the views. And now that song is deleted off of the face of the earth. From any social media, I'm obviously thinking. Will you ever hear it on the radio? I don't goddamn think so. But I know I'm fucking pissed. I'm pissed. This is just sick. To see an anthem song like that go down. One of my favorite ACDC songs of all time. And I put that towards the people that do this to the music. Like you, Richard Ramirez, or any other serial killer, killer be it. You want to use a piece of music? I think you better think twice. Because that's not right. No, man, that's not right. You know what? The music wasn't made for your killing purposes. It was made for the lives, for the lives that struggled, that went through hard times, that friggin' went from the bottom of the barrel made it to the top and all the, the little if ends and buts that they had to do in life to get there and you you better not ruin no more music man this is sick this is sick just to think how many more songs are gonna be kicked off the radio off YouTube just because of lyrics I mean Billy Idol Rock the Cradle of Love. Yeah. Anybody gets that song, of course, it's coming of age. 18-year-olds 
Hell, even Kip Winger from Winger. You're, she's only 17. I mean, they do say girls mature faster than boys. And right. Personally, I wouldn't, you know, I got my own, you know, wife. But if I was to ever, you know, think about going out with a teenager, that, eh, you know, the age difference, I'd make sure I'd be in the range. Not friggin' 20, 20 50 or 20, 30 years over. I wouldn't make the, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Just like Robert Kraft or Mick Jagger. Just, that's beyond recognition. That's beyond the age limit. And it's like, eh. So, I don't know. <laughs> this is just sick, man. You know, you think about it. You think about it. The way the world's becoming. You can't even put the simple act of lyrics in a song that is meaningful for something. That was the story told in the past of what had happened. No, it's all taken in wrong content. Sick. Right here, Richard Ramirez. Right here. You see this? I hope you friggin' spare it comes to me. I'm gonna beat you down in the afterlife. <laughs> oh, man. But, whatever. Another song down, people. What's gonna be next? Until that next video. Shameful. Out.